Argentina and South Africa have a massive chance to assert some dominance in the Rugby Championship already after just half of round one with the Wallabies and the All Blacks drawing the opening match it gives these two teams a real opportunity to go to the top of the table and to put some real pressure on the other two sides in the competition it is South Africa up against Argentina round one of the Rugby Championship. Hello Ron and welcome along to Cornflake Script, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Rugby Championship where this is Argentina travelling to South Africa for round one fixture and the South Africans well they've gone with a good mix here of form, youth and experience in their team. The notable addition into the squad is number 10, the fly half, Henry Pollard starting in this opening match for the Rugby Championship. He's partnered in the halves by Ruan Pinar, a man of massive experience. The pack is huge with the front row of Tawarira and both the Duplessis. That is just top shelf front row players. Of course, plenty of experience in the backs with De Villiers, but it is outside De Villiers that we have De Allende coming in to the team. That is a big start for them with new players coming into the squad, gaining experience here against Argentina. Could be a start of something special for D'Alene. LaRue will be at the back and Habana and Hendricks. Well, Hendricks has been in fantastic form lately. On the wings, will they get many tries? Their fans will certainly hope so. As for Argentina, well, they've learned a, a very big amount in recent time with their matches, the end of year tour, and then, of course, the international windows, they have come a long way and they've really blooded a lot of young and talented players that will really see them well very nicely in the future. Today, though, back to the hard test, getting up against these top tier nations. Argentina have a chance. They need to step up and show that they are capable of footing it here with the best teams in the world. The 19 combination, Landajo and Sanchez, is going to be very, very crucial to how they go. And of course, their back row, Matera, Fernandez, Lobby, and Leguzamon, are going to be key things to how this Argentinian side are going to go for this whole season. It's going to be interesting. Can they step up up against South Africa here in South Africa for match one for these two sides of the rugby championship? South Africa will be kicking off with Pollard. The young fly half, such a prodigy talent, this young man as he gets the game underway. South Africa have a riches and the number 10 jumper is nicely taken. Release. Argentina with the ball for the first time in this match and it's going out nicely to Hernandez. Release. He goes up against the L&D. Big charging run for those two. Now it's Lavanini driving forward for Argentina. Release. Not wanting to kick this ball away. They want to keep hold of it as long as Advantage. possible. Advantage to South Africa. There we go. Forward pass. And now we look back and say maybe they should have kicked it. It's Galarraza. Second rower. The pass. Crouch. Bosch involved there. Marcelo Bosch. Forward at some Ten. point near the replay. Not really of much help. But it will be Pinar to feed the scrum. A steady scrum too nicely now from South Africa. And Vermeulen picks it up and runs away. Pinar, nice ball over the top for Hendricks. Standing start for him. He slips in field. Looks to go around the couple. Can't get away. Dale and he goes again. Pinar, oh, good work from Ron Pinar. Release. Sets that up. What a step there off his right foot. Pollard, away to Tawarira. The big man for his Vermeulen. There's Bucky's Bofa over to D'Alene, &E, looking for his first try as a Springbok. Can't get it away, and Habana will play scrum half. Feeds it wide for Duplessis, he's knocked it on. And then Tawarira thought he was all his Christmases were coming at once there as the ball bobbled towards the line. But the knock on from Yanni Duplessis. Oh, big hit too. Coming in Crouch. from Creevy, the Crouch. hooker. It. It's going to be a scrum pack down here for Argentina. Landajo feeds it. 
And at the back, waiting for it, is of course, Leguzamon. A real high standard international back row here from Argentina. As Sanchez looks to the left side, and Matero pops it up beautifully for Bosch. Release. As he hammers it forward, he goes up 10 metres. Argentina still not keen on kicking this away as I heard that. Goes a bit sideways here. Now Landajo. Oh, and a bit of a rumble there with Pena. Release. Goes to ground. Look at the Argentinian players. Slow to get up. It's hurting already. Now it goes back for Hernandez. And he pumps us into touch. And that's what needed to happen for Argentina. The Springbok defence is very staunch at the moment. We're still sitting here nil all. Of course, that try fest we had yesterday. It's looking very pretty at the moment. But for these two sides, it's Pollard straight through the middle. And he feeds it out the back looking for Dialandi, but it slips up. And Argentina pick it up for Maryland. Turns it over, better friend the ruck. Now it's the Villiers. Take it down, good tackle. Here's Pinar. Duplessis. Tawarera, nice ball from the big man to find Habana, and it's Dalandi on the sights, he looks out good field, can't get back through the good defence of the fullback, and Truculet sits that up beautifully defended from Argentina, Hernandez, he's lost it in his de Villiers. and Tawarera was up very, very quickly from that ruck, Argentina calling he was offside, Sean de Villiers gets the try, Let's have a look, there's Dialandi. Big hit coming in from Tuchelet. Here's a pass, Landajo, back to Sanchez. Oh, well back to Hernandez it was. Just look how quickly Antarera was up on that ball. There he is. Landajo, hands on it. Oh, that is a beautifully timed run from the big prop. Antarera. Gives his captain, Jean de Villiers, the opening try of this match, and Pollard will be the one to convert. South Africa have really had the better of this opening match. Well, this opening stanza is Pollard's kick is away to the left. Unsuccessful conversion. South Africa lead 5 to 0 in this round one. Rugby Championship match against Argentina. The Argentinians won't mind. It's taken South Africa 26 minutes to get that opening try. And Sanchez gives it straight to low and De Villiers straight into the action. Oh, look at that from Hendricks. The big dive from the winger. Might not help in the end. They're still going to lose the ball. Now, Landau slips it up nicely for a Hertzer. Oh, what a run from the big prop. He skips into the 22. Feeds it off for his big back row. It's Fernandez Lobby. Now it's Release. Herrera. Looking to bust into that 22. A Hertzer. Oh, chip over the top there. Habana comes across and he feeds it to Hendricks. Hendricks goes to ground. South Africa, they won't want to mess about here. Oh, Pollard, right in the face of the defence. Back now to Habana. That's a good play. Here's Brian Habana. Kicks ahead and gives a big chase. Across from the other side is Montero. Oh, he's missed it. And it's coming down for someone. Argentina's got it back in the end. Habana in a bit of a muddle there with three other Argentinian players. Oh, and a knock on from Sanchez. Oh, big mistakes really when they need them to stick here. Pollard. Pollard going for the line. Gets dragged down on a good Release. tackle. Still ball here for Pina. Goes to De Villiers. Oh, he's got Hendricks completely unmarked. And Hendricks dives into the corner and scores try number two. And Cornell Hendricks, we've seen a big dive from him earlier. Diving just to keep possession. This time from a standing start, it was a... It was a wobbly old pass, let's be here, fair, from Jean de Villiers. He was running for the corner. De Villiers' pass was just behind him a touch. He had to wait for it. But when it came to him, he put the foot down and went straight to that corner. Big dive. No chance of stopping him. And Hendricks gets try number two. And the kick for Pollard is just getting more and more difficult. He 
Evans way out on the right hand side now. Pull up. Misses first attempt. Here's shot number two. Buzzer goes for half time and it's successful. It's 12 0 South Africa over Argentina. And that is us for the first half. The two sides going to the sheds for half time. South Africa, South Africa with a handy lead at the break and complete domination to all the stats. 12 0 at half time. It is round one of the Rugby Championship and South Africa have a good lead here as they eye up the top of the table with a victory. If they can keep this lead intact, they've had all the stats. Look at this, possession, 67%, territory, 70%, line breaks, 5 to nil. Both teams making four handling errors as well and the tackle count is even also. That is quite interesting that it's so even despite Argentina only having 33% of the pill. The scoreline is what matters though, and it's South Africa here in round one leading over Argentina. And a chance for the winner to go straight to the top of the table over their counterparts, Australia and New Zealand, getting a bonus point draw in the opening match. Who will take this competition by the scruff of the neck? We'll find out in the next 40 minutes. South Africa leading from the first half, 12-0 over Argentina. Second half set to get underway here. Sanchez will kick off. 40 minutes all the side. This out comes to Villiers. Gets a very good ball around the corner. Starting this second half off with a beautiful piece of work that's going to cost them the ball as well. De Villiers loses out. Argentina goes short side. Beautiful ball. And there's a chance here. And then it's back inside. Really? Find support. South Africa on the back foot almost instantly. And they're going to get it back. LaRue slides it back for Pollard. And he pumps it upfield. Hendricks giving a big chase, but it's claimed to the back. Oh, and one is South Africa. Where was the forward pass at all? There's a big argument coming in from Fernandez lobby. And fair enough, too. Ahertza is there. There's the ball. That's Ahertza was the receiver. But boy, that's a real get out of jail card for See. the South Africans. <laughs> Scrum feet for Pinar. Good scrum here from the two sides. Argentina keeping it steady. Remulin again runs off the back, feeds it wide for De Villiers. De Villiers slices him in half, feeds it wide, Habana. Habana's open up some space. DLD once again can't get away. And the outside centre, just can't find the breaks at the moment. Here's Yanni Duplessis. Finds Botha. De Villiers. Good ball over the top from Merlin. The big number eight goes barnstorming upfield. He's taken down at the back. Good tackle. And Argentina get numbers behind the ball and they turn this over. Now they look to the right. Numbers to burn once again as Hernandez. And he's caught up, held up by the Springboks. They look outside again. And Rossino popping it back in for Sanchez. Release. Oh, the Springboks fancy this. It's coming back very quickly. And Pinar finds it there. Gets the LD. He's through another hole. Can he step off that foot? No. The right foot step is just not working at all for him. It's still massive gap out here. Back foot duplicy. Pops it up for Pollard. And there it is. Try number three. Hendrik Pollard. Gets his first try of the rugby championship and South Africa further assert their dominance here over Argentina. Still had Hendricks outside him as well, but poor old D. Allende. What does the man have to do to score a try here? He's had line break after line break. He just can't get one through. They've had his number a bit and they've done well to defend him. Just showing. Justified selection. It's, that was lucky to get away there. That ball that popped up. Lucky break for the Springboks as they further their lead now. 17 0. Pollard to convert his own try. Make it 19. 
and he is on fire now. The pre-match jitters are long gone, and Pollard is settling in beautifully into this match. It's taken a while here, but the match is slowly being driven away from Argentina. As the kickoff goes down to low. And he sets it up. De Villiers. Pollard. Oh, Pollard passes to no one. And now it's Argentina. Massive chance. Oh, Hendricks. Hendricks intercepts. And it could be. See you later. He looks to step. Off the right foot he goes. It's a pace race. He gets caught. Oh, caught on the 22. What could have been a fantastic try for Cornell Hendricks. And Tarrera is right there. And he runs off the back. He looks outside for Dialandi. De Villiers. Duplessis gets caught. And Argentina look to turn over numbers behind this ball. And they get it back. Sanchez. And it's going to be kicked away from Hernandez. And Argentina live to fight another day. Hendricks, boy oh boy, that was some explosive, huge running from the winger. It was beautiful to watch. That's the line. Now comes down and Pinar knocks on. Low jumps on it, but it's going to be ball back for Argentina. Mistake from the veteran scrum half. Happened a bit quick for him. He was through that set play before Crouch. he had the ball in his hand. Touch. And a feed will go to Argentina and Landa Holt right on halfway. Steady scrum for Argentina, just what they would like. And Landa Holt, whoever back it, goes short. Sanchez, high tackle! Oh goodness me, it's all going pear shaped here for Ruin Pinar. It was a short one play, then Dalho to Sanchez. No, we weren't interested in Leguzamon getting that ball off the back, but they're going to tap it and go. Sanchez flicks it up for Creevy and then Dialandi, he's stolen it. Loose pass is intercepted, but Argentina get it straight back and they go wide. Oh, good ball. Set it there to Bosch and of course they come and Rosino's on hand. Hernandez is right there, but LaRue takes him down. And the ball will slowly come back to the side of the spring box. Four minutes to go. Vermeulen, De Villiers. Back for Pinar. Pollard. Pollard spots a big gap. And he looks for the corner. Opens it up. Dialandi gets chase. What a pinpoint kick from Pollard. Going into the corner. It's going to beat them all. Well, that should be... What will that be? It will be a line out. It did not go into goal. Well, that's a relief for the decision makers as Trevi will throw in. And of course, South Africa compete, but it goes straight down to Landaho, who kicks it into touch and will signal full time to round one for these two teams of the rugby championship. And it will be South Africa who go top of the table with this victory. Straight leapfrog over everybody in the competition. The win over Argentina, as for the Argentinians, scoreless, plenty of chances for them. They just could not convert anything into points tonight. 19 to nil. South Africa miss out on that four try bonus point by just one try. Hendricks will be feeling slightly aggrieved. He couldn't have got that with that spectacular intercept, but it just was not to be for him. But it was still as entertaining as ever to watch him screaming away. Off the intercepts, such beautiful plays, those intercepts. 19 to nil, the final score. Three tries for South Africa going to Pollard, De Villiers and Hendricks. Pollard landing two out of three conversions for a night. A good night for the youngster, getting nine points for himself. As for Argentina, no points there, but a good showing from them nevertheless. They didn't have much ball or territory, but they had some good opportunities. A couple of line breaks. And they had plenty of scrums and plenty, enough possession to at least score some points. I feel they'll, be feel they'll feel very disappointed not to come away with anything out of today's match. South Africa, 19 points. Early season hit out. They'll be pleased with how that went. And they'll be pleased. They'll, they'll go straight to the top of the table with four points. And next week is going to be interesting. 
Round two of the Rugby Championship will be coming to you just like round one. Stay tuned and stick around. That one be coming next weekend with plenty more rugby to come from this competition. Who will take out the title for 2014? Well, that will tell in time. Until then, until next time, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for plenty more rugby. And until then, take care.